Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this episode, we're going to take the Foz for a little drive. Stay tuned. Alrighty guys, I was going to give it a wash as well, but it's just starting to rain just a little bit. So, <clears throat> what I'm going to do is actually attach the Cobra onto the TD-05. So it's not going to suck up anything. And um, we'll uh, head out for a little sneaky drive, probably when it gets a little bit darker. And... Um, We'll bring her back in and into the garage because the missus doesn't really want me to work on the V-dub until I get all four rotors and I'll just do it all at once so that'll be next weekend so you guys get a Forester driving video all right so let's put that Cobra back on alrighty guys the Cobra is on and I'm pretty good you doing that? Yeah. What are you doing? Alright, so airflow is in. I'll uh, give it a quick start and see how it goes. So we are getting a consistent flow now, whereas before, obviously, we were getting flow from the GT35. It was just going past it, so hopefully it uh, might, might be just talking crap, but hopefully it runs a bit better. Alrighty. Battery on. first start. It's not very loud. I don't really hear the um, scavenger really. Check the, um, the airflow. The air ratio, sorry. It is bouncing all over the place. We are sitting around 14, which is good. So, let it warm up. Good pressure. Water temp's not up yet. I need to fix my lights. See that? Now they go off. I don't know what's happened. Any suggestions? There's the power. Power's on. So, Michael, I don't know who's right. I'll check the level of the the um, auto trans, and what I'll do is I'll, I'll pull the airflow meter and see if that flashes, because we do have different models. But um, we'll see. Well, it's 
install. A bit lean. just hear the air from the scavenger pump and the breather. Sounds weird. Yeah, it's running pretty lean. Very lean. Oh. Just sitting here. It should be okay. Hasn't really ran properly for a while, so... See what happens when I put the foot down a bit. Seems alright. Lean. Turn it off. You pull the airflow and we'll see if that power light flashes. Come on. Yeah. Alright, it's off. Start it up. Should run fine. I'll turn it off quite quickly, but we'll see if that power light is flashing. Just to clear things up, Michael. He's probably right. Oh, oh, it's flashing. You're right. Plug it back in, start it back up. So, just wondering, guys, um, can I go mathless on a stock ECU? It's been tuned. I'm not sure. Sorry. I want that because I want to get rid of it. Still flashing. got an exhaust leak. Definitely got an exhaust leak. You hear it chuffing down. Down the bottom there. All good. Turn the battery off. And um, Mrs. is out at the moment so I'll just wait for her to come back. And then um, I'll go for a little sneaky drive. See how it goes, just under a little bit of, bit of load. Alright. Back soon. 
All right, guys. Unfortunately, I'm not going to get it out for a drive, but I'm going to start it up and bring it in here so we can uh, have a play around with it throughout the week and uh, clean it up a bit as well. Um, it is freaking cold and it's late, and the boys are just going to bed, so don't want to wake them up. But I am starting the car. Hmm. I'm a little bit nervous, if you can tell, to take it for a drive. Um, I haven't opened up the engine, so it should be okay, but I think I've got an exhaust leak, which I had last time, so I would want to check that out, so I'll do that throughout the week. Um, might need to do some more welding on it, so get it started and bring it in. Hopefully I don't hit anything. I guess she went into gear pretty good. Reverse and forwards would have been first gear. I was in drive. Um, yeah. Bit hard on startup, which I probably heard. Um, but yeah. Uh, we'll check out a couple of things throughout the week. Um, but yeah. Unfortunately, I'm sorry, didn't get to go for a drive, but you did see it actually moving this time. Whereas last time was a bit of a struggle. Um, so if you like this episode, give it a thumbs up. Any questions or comments, put them down below and I'll answer them. If you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you next episode. Thanks for watching. Bye.